let us now use our shapes in order for us to create this case. Okay, let me just zoom out my screen. All right, so let's first um, create our system boundary. Okay. All right, so let's say, for example, our system is, um, is a website of Chelis Restaurant. All right. Okay, so say, for example, um, we have two users or we have two actors and our first actor is uh, a blogger who um, posts articles about Chelis Restaurant. And then our second actor is the administration of Chedi. Okay, or simply the admin. All right, so, okay, so, so inside then are your use cases. Okay, so um, I forgot to mention in my previous video that, um, so the, the, the symbol that connects the actor and the use case is actually the association, is what we call association. So let's just utilize this one. Let's check if we can utilize arrow. Okay. Okay. So um, this should be none and this should be straight. Okay. That's it. All right. So say for example, um, by practice, we are going to start by login. So we, any users can log in. Both users can log in in the in the website. Okay. All right, so say for example, the, the blogger can be able to manage posts. So when we say manage, it means that um, the blogger can be able to add, edit, delete, post. So manage post. All right, and then so for the admin, usually the admin can do all the use cases in the in the system or in the website. So say for example, um, the admin can be able to manage users. When we say manage users, he or she can be able to add, edit, delete users. Okay, so let's connect that one with the admin. Okay, and this one too. Alright, so see the difference? Like the admin can do this one and the, the blogger can do only this part. All right. Okay. So manage users. So if we begin with login, we should be able to end it with logout. All right. So how do we how do we use the extend and the include um, symbols here? So say for example, you are going to let your visitors log in into your Chelis restaurant website so that you can you can also get their email address and get them notified of your new menus or they can be able to um, request or um, they can be able to buy your menu through the, the form that you're going to provide in the website. So say for example, you're going to add um, sign up in the website so so then you're going to add another user or another actor which is the guest okay so the guests can be able to sign up i'm sorry 
Okay, you can be able to sign up in in your website. So um, part of the sign up process is the authentication process. So so the the guest should be able to confirm or his or her email address. Okay. All right. So. As mentioned, this should be in broken line and it should end with an arrow. So that is an extend. So you're going to add, I mean, that is an include. So you're going then to add include. Include. So confirm email is part of the sign up. All right. And then say for example um the user after confirming his email he was then able to log into your website and um you can use extend if say for example the user would like to complete his or her profile because it is um conditional he has an option to not complete all the information in the in his or her profile or he can just um leave it as is just did all the required fields so you can have here complete profile where he's able to um, add all his information including addresses so you are going to add okay Okay, so this will then will then be extend. All right, so that's it. So that's um how simple the the use case diagram of um Shelly's restaurant. So um expect that if um, if your system is um, much complicated than a website, then you can have many use cases here inside your system boundary. So this is just this, um, the simple representation of what the user can do to your website. Um, it still have other use cases that you can add in your in 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 this use case diagram.